Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to find the support reactions, the shear force in the bending moment diagram for this simply supported beam with different concentrated load located at different points. This is 3 kN located at 2 meter distance from the left end, the 5 kN acting at the center of this beam and 3 kN acting at a distance of 2 meter from the right end. So first of all, I will know about the support reaction of this beam. This is a hinge support, so it will resist the vertical load here. I can show it by RA. Similarly, this roll support will also resist the vertical loads represented by RB. So the, all the vertical loads being supported by these two support reactions. First of all, I have to find these support reactions. So let's consider that the summation of moment is, at A is equal to zero. And I take the all moment is equal to zero at point A. So I am taking the clockwise moment as positive and the anti-clockwise is negative. So this 3 kN creating the clockwise direction, 5 kN also creating the clockwise direction. This is also creating clockwise while the RB creating the anti-clockwise direction. So now with summation, taking the summation of moment, so 3 into moment arm is 2, so 3 into 2, then 5 into 6, and then 3 into this moment arm which is 4, 4, 2, 10, 3 into 10. And also this is called uh, taking the anti-clockwise direction, so this is taken positive and this is taken negative, so RB will be equal to negative and the moment arm for the RB is equal to this whole distance which is equal to 2, heading with 4, 4, 2 which is 12 meter. The motion of moment is equal to 0. And now RB into 12, taking this into the right side and adding all this value, we will get this 3, 2, 6 and 30 and again 3, 10, 30. The adding these all values and dividing by 12, we get 66 and dividing by 12, we get 5.5. So the RB value is 5.5. I can write it down that this support reaction is 5.5. Kilonewton. Now I will take the summation of vertical forces is equal to zero. So summation of forces acting downward will be taken as positive, while acting downward is taken as positive, and the acting upward is taken as negative. So three is acting downward, then five, then three. And the RB in R is acting upward, and negative, RB is 5.5, and RA is also a uh, negative but we don't know about the R value. Summation of moment is equal to zero. So by adding and subtracting this value we will get the R A comes out to be 5.5 kN. It means that the R A and R B values are same in this case. However it may be different in some case but in this case the support reactions is same uh, the R A and R B value are same as 5.5 and 5.5 kN. Now to draw the shear force value, I have to extend these reference lines. These are the reference line where your load is acting. You should draw the reference lines respectively. These are my reference line. And for the shear force, I will draw this line. The reference line. This represents the shear force in kilonewton because we are using the kilonewton unit. So to draw the shear force, and I know that the 5.5 kilonewton is acting upward. I will draw it upward, 5.5, right? This is 5.5. Then there is no load acting. Then there is 3 kN acting is downward. So subtracting the 5.5 uh, from 3, we will get the here the 2.5. Then then again there is no load acting. So horizontal line. And then there is 5 kN 5 acting is downward. So it will make into the minus 2.5. Then again there is no load acting and there is 3 kN load is acting again so it will make it down because it is negative so it will come out to be minus 5.5 and then this is 5.5 which is right. So we draw our shear force diagram. This is positive in this case and this is negative. Now to know the bending moment diagram I should extend these references lines from the shear force because the bending moment diagram depends on the shear force. This is the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton and meter. 
because we are using the kidney newton in meter unit. So to draw the bending moment diagram, we should know the area of the shear force value. Here in this case, we know that the area of this rectangle will be our bending moment diagram. So 5.5 is the height of this rectangle and 2 meter is the length of this rectangle. So the area of this rectangle will be equal to the 5 into 5 into 2, which comes out to be 11. 5.5 into 2 is 11 is the area of this rectangle. So I can show here that there is 0 because there is a hinge support, there is no movement and my bending moment will, will be here is 11 kilonewton per meter. Then adding with this rectangle again because it is also positive, so 2.5 is the height of this rectangle and 4 meter is the length of this rectangle, so 2.5 adding with the 4 we get 10. So again adding 10 here with the 11 we get we get here a 21 is the bending moment here acting at this point which is maximum now again this is acting downward rectangle 2.5 is the height and 4 meters is the length so this is 10 and I am going to subtract it from here because it is negative so it comes out to be again 11 subtracting the 10 value from the 21 because this is uh, the way this the area of this rectangle is 10. Now this rectangle is the area of 5.5 is the height and the length is 2 meter. So multiplying 5.5 with the 2, we get 11. Subtracting the 11 from here, we will get the 0. So we have 0 moment at the 2 ends, which is absolutely right in the case of the hinge and roller support. And we have maximum bending moment at the mid of this beam, which is 5 under the 5 kN. This is the way how to calculate the shear force bend your moment diagram if you have any question you can comment down on this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video